and and I want to ask a question, I guess, regarding what you point out here, which is, you say the human world is in ruins. It will not get better. The sooner we can withdraw from it, the better. Timothy Leary was right when he urged young people to drop out in 1966. His message is all the more profoundly true today. Life in urban industrial society has no future. The modern world has failed on all on all levels. Capitalism and industrialism cannot be reformed. The gods have fled. Whether or not we can become completely independent of industrial society is irrelevant. The fact uh the fact that it is difficult and perhaps impossible to utterly separate should not be used as an argument against withdrawal. Connection to the gods and the land is ultimately more important than material self-sufficiency. To whatever extent you are compelled and able, withdraw from society and make the home the center of your life. I, I think this is an interesting thing that you bring up because you're kind of saying, maybe I'm wrong, um, but I feel like a lot of people who are writing about, you know, and the, the sort of the, the depravity or the, the hollowness of industrial modern life or of our technological society, there is this sense of like, we need to organize to resist it, to undermine it, you know, whether it's sure. whatever, whatever strain of that you want to go in. Um, uh, but basically like we need to, you know, attack the infrastructure. We need to, you know, do all these sure. things. Right. And I'm not sure. saying that you're not saying that in maybe other work, but in this particular essay you're kind of saying turn your back on this society because it's not going to serve you it's not going to be fixed it's not going to be reformed this is to use this term lo the logical conclusion of this this entire experiment that we have been a part of um and it's not going to get any better um so the best place to to dwell is in the home and we have to first make that home uh to to make that possible uh, if you i mean i don't want to put words in your mouth or to assume what you believe um, you know, in, in any of those things I just said, but just kind of reading this piece, there's something a bit, um, kind of took me a little bit aback because again, like I said, most people that are talking about returning to some sort mm -hmm. of pre-industrial, pre-modern, pre-capitalist, pre-Christian, whatever, um, way mm -hmm. of being, way of understanding and, and inhabiting the world. Um, there is mm -hmm. this idea of like, we have to do this all in sort of some collective sense, but you're kind of pointing to more of a individual choice. And I could be wrong in saying this, but an individual choice we all have to make that, is in light of what is currently unfolding on this planet. Would you say that my assessment or my understanding is correct or maybe missing certain key yeah, elements? Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. It's yeah. absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, um, um, I, I've come to these, uh, I've come to where I am as, as, a, as a person, you know, um, like everybody through kind of meandering path and, um, you know, for most of my adult life, I think I would have been horrified to hear myself say that. Um, but, um, but that's no longer the case. Uh, it's, it's taken me a long time, um, or a relatively long time or whatever, but it's taken me some time. Um, but I've, I've absolutely come to the conclusion that, uh, that, um, that, reform is impossible as i've said that that this society cannot and should be not should not be saved and that um our efforts would be better placed doing other things and the suggestion that i'm putting forth in this is make a home for yourself um and and i recognize also that making a home for oneself can mean a lot of different things um so i'm not i'm not trying to be prescriptive in that but absolutely my suggestion here is that um maybe we've got better things to do with our time than to try to save the society. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I am coming to this place maybe personally as well, where I feel like that is at least, if not the whole prescription, it is a part of it. You know, it's like there yeah. has to be a, a base, I guess, or a place to do our work from and mm -hmm. having a home is, as we're kind of framing it right now is really the first mm -hmm. major step in that process. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, I mean, I, no, go sorry. On. no, you go on. I'm sorry. Well, I was just going to say that, you know, it's, um, um, it's, it's such a truism that the earth is our home. Um, um, uh, you know, one hears that all the time and one is, uh, is kind of very comfortable with that formulation. But, uh, ironically, as, as we've both observed, uh, nowadays, one very rarely meets somebody whose idea of home is is meaningful to them. So, so that that uh, clearly that's a problem. <laughs> you know, we um, 
you know, we've we've spent I don't know thirty years, maybe even less, seriously wrestling with the idea of of destroying the Earth, um, and yet I don't think very many people have a clear sense of. Um, why it should be saved or what that means that it should be saved people are people are very good at responding to things that are kind of immediately threatening them which is which is obviously important and that's why you know um if you're if you're under attack resistance is uh is of course understandable and and you know i'm i'm obviously not suggesting that those who are who are attacked should not resist but um but it's always been very funny to me that you know um here we are saying that the earth is our home, so we should protect it. But if our home, as as we know it, is just this meaningless place where we dump our possessions, then why why is it important to save that? That doesn't sound yeah. very, you know, that doesn't sound very valuable, right? So I think that um, uh, that's why I think that really, you know, the problem is a is a spiritual one. The problem is one that's really about the home and about that connection to the earth. And that's, that's something that, um, that the individual has to sort out uh, for themselves.